Hi, this is Andy Bryce of Perfect Table Plan, and I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily assign guests to seats to create the best possible seating plan. We'll start with the basics and then move on to some of the more advanced features. I'll be using Perfect Table Plan for Windows, but the Mac version is very similar. Assigning seats generally comes after you've imported your guests and created the floor plan. See our other videos on how to do this. Once we've set up our guests and our tables, we can assign guests to seats either by drag and drop or automatically. Let's look at drag and drop first. So I've clicked the assign button here so I can see both the guest to be assigned and the floor plan. I can click on a column header to sort the guests. So here I've sorted them by the last name. With the mode set to drag and drop, we can just click on someone and then drag them to a seat. Or we can click on a group of people and drag them to a seat. Notice how the assigned guests are no longer shown in bold. If I want to drag everyone in a group, then I just need to hold down the shift key when I drag one of the group. For example, we can see the Adams group has two people in it. If I hold down the shift key and drag one of them, then it drags both members of the group. If I drag one guest on top of another, then their positions are swapped. If I want to unassign a guest, I can just drag them onto the background. Or I can select unassign with the right click menu. I can select multiple guests using control click. Or I can click on one guest and then shift click further down. Note that this guest has RSVP cancelled. If I try and drag them to a seat, I'll get an error message. I can change this behaviour in the preferences. I can ask Perfect Table Plan to suggest who to sit in an empty seat. And now it's suggesting who I might like to sit in the next seat and the scoring. This is based on any proximities we set. Generally these are set up during import but you can go through and edit them manually. And we can set each guest to sit next to, near to, not next to or not near to another guest. We'll come back to this in a minute. We can also use the schematic pane for drag and drop. This is a stylized version of the floor plan that's particularly useful for drag and drop. You can change the order tables are shown in this pane using the table order button or by dragging and dropping tables. We can lock a guest to their seat so that they can't be moved again. Notice the lock icon appearing in the left pane. We can also use a Control K keyboard shortcut. If we try to move this guest, we'll now get an error. So let's unlock them. We can also freeze the floor plan so that we don't accidentally move tables during drag and drop. We now can't move the table. Dragging and dropping guests to seats gives us full flexibility. However, it can be very tedious and time consuming for large events with hundreds or thousands of guests. So Perfect Table Plan also gives us various options for automatically assigning guests to seats. There are three ways to automatically assign guests to seats. The first one is according to guest proximities in the proximity pane. This is the most common form of automatic seat assignment and the one we would normally recommend. It's also possible to assign guests according to the order they appear in the left-hand pane. This can be useful for some formal events, for example, where you have a diplomatic order of precedence. And finally, you can assign guests randomly. Let's look at seating by proximity. Seating by proximity will attempt to put people near to or not near to each other according to your settings in the proximity pane. 
For example, it will try to put Andrew Adams next to Nicky Adams. It will also generally try not to leave empty seats between guests, unless you've got social distancing turned on in the preferences. And it will try to alternate males and females, unless you've turned that off in the preferences. And it will attempt to assign VIP guests to tables marked as VIP tables will attempt to balance all these criteria against each other to come up with the best scoring seating. Under the hood, it uses a genetic algorithm to do this, but you don't need to worry about the details. So let's go back to the assign. So let's unassign these guests and do an automatic seating. Note that there are more ways to seat these guests than there are atoms in the universe. So now it's seated all the guests with the appropriate RSVP status. Here we can see of the 80 guests with RSVP accepted status, it seated all 80 in the 80 seats available. We can look at the proximities. For example, let's see who was supposed to be sitting next to who. While we hold this button down, red lines are drawn between each pair of guests with next to proximity. We can click this button to look at all the proximities. Here we can see we have a black line between two guests who should not be seated together. Hold down the lightning icon to show any potential issues. So currently there are no problems. Let's randomly swap around a couple of guests. If we click again, we can see we've now got some issues. Hold down the red flag button to only show the more serious seating issues. We can also click on the happy button to see how happy our guests are. So the guests shown in green are very happy with who they sat next to. Those shown in orange or red, not so happy. Let's set the proximity so these two people shouldn't be sat together. Maybe they had a fist fight at a previous event. Now they've gone red. So we can just run the seat assignment again. And now it's moved these people onto different tables. We can also show the guest gender. Or we can color them by groups. Or we can color by meal selection. We can also show the guest age. VIP status, special requirements, RSVP status, lock status, and so on. And we can place a color-coded key on the floor plan to show what the colors mean. We can run the seat assignment as often as we want. It will start with the current seat assignment and try to improve it. If it can't improve it, it won't change anything. Visualization can sometimes be a little easier using circular seats. Let's go back to showing groups. Note that seating by proximity does not take account of groups, only proximity. This is because in some types of events you may wish to split up people in the same group. In Perfect Table Plan Advanced and Professional Editions you can add custom fields. The Advanced Edition allows up to two custom fields and the Professional Edition up to 20. Here we've added custom fields for area and the type of guest. We can see these values in the left pane. Note that hovering over a guest in the left pane highlights them in the right pane. And we can visualize them. If we're not happy with the colors perfect table plan assigns, we can pick our own. Let's change the partners to a fetching shade of blue. In the professional edition of perfect table plan, we can use these custom fields of type selection or yes, no, to create custom seating rules. For example, at this fictional event, we might decide we want to sit people from the different geographic areas together. So north with north, east with east, and so on. If we have a large number of different values to set, we can use the bulk edit proximity window. And then we can wait how important this rule is. So let's say it's only half as important as sitting couples together. So we'll wait it to a half. And let's also set up a rule that we don't want two partners sitting next to each other. This will spread the partners out onto different tables. And let's run the auto assign again. It's very quick for a small event like this. For an event with thousands of guests, you might need to go and make a coffee. So now we can see it's moved the partners shown in blue to different tables. And it's tried to keep guests from the same area together and it will do its best to balance all these different conflicting criteria. Let's just change our custom rule to split up people from the same area. Run the auto assign again.
Notice how the score increases as we find better seatings. Look in the help if you want to find out more about how the scoring works. So now it's split up the different areas, but still kept the partners apart and the couples together. Often we want to do a combination of drag and drop and automatic seating. For example, we might want to drag some key individuals to particular seats. Lock them in place and then use the auto assign to fill in all the other seats. It's trying hundreds of seatings per second. Note that we can press the stop button at any time to stop the auto seat assignment and keep the best seating so far. And then perhaps finally do some manual tweaking. We can also look at our seating assignments one table at a time in the table plan pane. We can also drag and drop here. We can use the same visualizations as in the floor plan pane. Or we can print a chart by table. We have full control over the fonts and colors. And we can create a chart by guest last name. We can change various aspects of the layout, including the number of columns. The chart is highly configurable. If there's a monitor at the venue, we can display an electronic seating chart full screen. We can also print place cards and other stationery. See our place card video for more details. We can also assign guests to seats in the order they're shown in the left pane and the order the tables are shown in the schematic pane. So now we can see the first guest in the list has been assigned to the first seat, the second guest to the second seat, and so on. We can sort guests by multiple criteria. For example, we could add a custom field with their order of precedence. We can also add a special sort order for titles. This can be useful for things like military rank or for suffixes. To find out more about order of precedence seating, see the How Do I Help. And finally we can seat guests completely randomly. This can be useful for informal events, where we want to mix people up. Perfect Tail Plan Professional Edition also supports multiple seatings, for example to make sure the same two people aren't sat together twice. See the help documentation and other videos for more details. You can download a free trial for Perfect Table Plan for Windows or Mac from our website. You don't even have to give us your email address.